I want to show you something I found in this old book. So I was just looking at this book and I found this test. So here's a final exam that came from this super old book. I just got to give it a whiff here because it has a great smell. Ah, amazing smell. The book is, is this one here, Sets with Applications by Peter Zena. And this is a book that someone gave me uh, long ago. They actually used this book. That was probably their handwriting. And they used this when they were in college. And this is a book on set theory. And apparently this was their final exam. So this person probably took the exam and, you know, this is it here. Final examination, first summer session, July 25th, 1968. Wow. That's really old. This paper is from 1968. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just got to give it a whiff. Just it's like a piece of history. I always think this should be like, I don't know, like in a museum. I mean, it's just, it's just interesting, right? 1968, I mean, it's been a while if you think about it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's a, a long time ago. If R is a subset of A cross B sub 9, define a domain of R. No, it's a comma. Oh, if R is a subset of A cross B, okay. To find the domain of R. Oh, I see the range of R and the image of a set C. Right, right. So, um, it's going to be a, it's a relation. And so they're asking for the domain and the range and the image of a set C under R. I see. Pre-image of a set D under R. Converse of R. R is a function, R is one-to-one, -one. R is reflexive, this is symmetric, R is transitive. So explain what all of those things mean uh, in the case when R is a relation. So, wow. Yeah, cool. That's good though, that's a good, that's a good first question because it has you go over like what you know, like okay, you're supposed to know these, these definitions, right? So, um, and here you have to do some proofs. Prove that if a, B, and C are sets, and then, you know, that's a pretty simple proof, nothing too bad. That's pretty good. The first two questions, I think, are pretty good. I don't think they're, like, overly challenging or anything like that. I feel like it's the right level. It's good. Let A, B, a set to find, and then R is an equivalence relation. Okay, just straight-up definitions. Mm-hmm. Just got to be careful how you word everything, right? Everything's got to be worded correctly in your definitions. Number four, if F and B are on are one to one, on two, prove that uh, the composition is one to one on two. That's a pretty easy proof. Mm -hmm. It's a good, good, it's a good problem. Five. Okay, they're defining uh, what it means for a function to be one to one. It says prove. Oh no no, I see what they're saying. I see what they're doing here. Okay. Prove that R is an equivalence relation on A, and then they give you some examples here. Prove that G is a function. That's cool. That's a cool little exercise there, number five. I should, I should work that out. And then six. Six is, uh, so it looks like they were having a little bit of fun here. Five looks like a, a kind of a fun problem there. I should, I, should, I should actually write that down later and work that one out. Six, define ring, integral domain, field. Okay, so now back to more definitions. Now we're doing ring theory. I guess this is a final. It's like this is this is covering a lot of mathematics here, right? There's a lot of math in this test. Tons of mathematics. Give an example of a ring that is not an integral domain. Give an example of an integral domain that is not a field. Give an example of a ring without unity. Okay, and then define ordered ring. Define Archimedean ordered ring. Define complete ordered field. So key definitions, right? They're asking, this, this test asks for key things. Like, okay, here's the key things, here's the key definitions, here's a little proof, here's another really important concept, here's you know, something you should prove. Uh, and, then, and then here again, some more important concepts. This is a really good final exam. This is a great final. And then the last one here, we have this, this here is uh, something with a set. For A and B, I guess is that the power set of U, define A is equivalent to B, if A is related to B, yeah. And then that could be, and then state the, burst, burst, blah, I can't read that, Schroeder-Bernstein theorem, there it is. Interesting. July 25th, 
1968. Yeah, old, old test. Just wanted to show you here. Um, blast from the past, right? I'm going to put it back in this book. I think it was there in that page there. I'm just going to leave it there. Leave it with the book, right? Keep it preserved as, uh, I don't know, kind of like a piece of history. Anyways, if you found any value in this content and you want to subscribe, feel free to hit subscribe. Also, I do have math courses uh, through my website, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.